everyone so I am going to do a kind of vlog video today uh, starting in our messy bedroom <laughs> I thought it'd be really fun instead of just doing the Halloween clean out video I was like you know what I should make like a little vlog of this and we can do like a get ready with me kind of situation um and I don't know, I just thought it'd be more fun to add a little bit more to my videos instead of like just doing the clean out. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's really up to you guys. If you like more of a vlog, cool. If you don't, that's fine. This is our messy bedroom. <laughs> I feel like we all have that like one room in our house where it's just like, why try? No, I do need to clean this room out. And um, maybe we can do that together. Maybe that could be another video. I feel like I want to have more clean out videos. I thought about doing a closet clean out video with you guys just because it makes it more fun when I have you guys to talk to instead of just like in there by myself. In your face, bitch, little girl. Yes, you are. Hey everyone, so we're now in my bathroom. Like I said, I just figured it would be cool to do Get Ready With Me. Got my, uh, what is from the secret Starbucks menu, the Baby Yoda Frappuccino, which is just a matcha green tea frappuccino with caramel drizzle inside the cup. If you like an earthy taste, you'll really like it. My cat ears on. Man, this brings me back to like when I first did videos on YouTube. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Aveeno Daily Moisturizer. Try to name products as I go. But when I first did YouTube, I really wanted to do true crime. That was like what I was out set to do. Makeup and crime just because I love true crime. I watch it all the time and listen to podcasts about it all the time. But then it got to the point where it was just too difficult, like literally doing all of those facts and, you know, like being like, okay, what story am I going to do? What makeup look am I going to do? Do I have enough information? Like it almost just felt like I was doing a school project more than like having fun with it. And so once Halloween time came around, I was like, oh, I'll do like, you know, a spooky video. I'll do like spooky Saturday kind of video and then I ended up liking that like way more and I was just like you know what we're just gonna stick with the Halloween theme and I'm glad that you guys enjoy it I'm glad you guys enjoy watching me um I hope I'm interesting by the way I'm gonna use my Colourpop Star Wars palette because I haven't played with this palette too much so we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with it today normally on my eyes you guys if you were wondering what I use in my videos or like what I wear in my videos normally I normally wear uh, the naked heated palette that's like my favorite because it has like the best like fall shades it's actually a really pretty really pretty shade again I don't really know what I'm doing with my makeup I just am doing me <laughs> did you guys catch the Obi-Wan series that premiered yesterday on Disney Plus. My husband and I, of course, tuned in because um, next to Halloween, I love Star Wars. And it's funny because I used to not like it because I had an ex best friend who like loved it. And you know, like when you have a friend and you're like, Ugh, that's what they liked and it reminds me of them. So I'm not going to like it. Like I still haven't seen Beetlejuice. I know because of this one friend and Everyone's like, how have you not seen Beetlejuice? Like, you're such a big Halloween, like, person. I'm like, I know, but it just, like, uh, I don't know. I just don't want something that reminds me, you know? But anyway, my husband and I watched it, and I don't want to give anything away, but can I just say, I think the third episode, because he only released two, I think the third episode is going to be amazing. The first two were just kind of setting obviously the story up, um, but it does take place 10 years after Revenge of the Sith, if you guys are wondering, if you guys even care, I don't know. Um, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. What do you guys think? I'm liking it. I'm going to use my finger though to get this. See that shade? Ooh, looks like a mermaid, right? It's funny how like when you have a 
significant other, like a, I guess like an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend or ex-friend or, you know, and like they like it. It's like, you don't want to like it. But the thing is my brother who I'm really close with, I have three older brothers and I'm really close with one of them. And, uh, well, you know, all of them, but this, I've always been really close with this one was my man of honor at my wedding. So <laughs> bottom line. Uh, and so he's, he lived with us for a short amount of time and he started watching Star Wars or The Mandalorian. That's what he started watching. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to be like everybody else. I don't want to get into this. And um, watching it with him was so much fun. And um, I ended up loving The Mandalorian. I was like, okay, you know, maybe I should give Star Wars a chance. And I did. And now I freaking love it. And now we're going back to Galaxy's Edge in September. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? I hope you can. And I don't know. I am not a beauty guru. I just kind of do my own thing, you know? March to the beat of my own drum. So anyway, so my brother started watching it. And then um, I started watching the other Star Wars with my husband. I think it took us several weeks to watch. We watched like everything that was out at the time. And I really obviously started liking it. Actually planning... I guess now this coming Friday to get a Star Wars tattoo. And you guys are probably like, but girlfriend, why aren't you getting a Halloween tattoo? And I thought about it, but I was like, if I'm going to get a, that was so loud. If I'm going to get a Halloween tattoo, I want it to be in Salem. Like I don't really, you know what, I'm going to conceal. And this tattoo would mean a lot to me because, uh, like I said, of my brother, and this is gonna be my last tattoo because, can I just say think before you ink? Like, I'm just gonna say that right now uh, because I'm getting two tattoos removed. Currently this one, which I got, was my first tattoo. And then I have one on my foot that was just, I don't even wanna talk about it. It's, it's not that the tattoo is bad, it's the meaning that's bad. Um, it's not like an offensive, that makes it sound like it's an offensive tattoo. It's not, it's literally just a heart. Um, but I hate it so much. Um, and I just want to get rid of it. Tattoo removal is very expensive and it is very painful. So if you're young, like I remember I was, how old was I when I got my first tattoo? I think I was like, I don't know, like in my, I was either 20 or 21. I was somewhere around there, like, you know, pretty beginning of college. I was like, oh, I'll never regret it because I'm, you know, I'm not young anymore. <laughs> Girl, please. I have, including all the tattoos I have now, I have eight, no, seven, seven tattoos. Um, and I don't regret the majority of them, even, even like the stupid ones that like I totally would not get now. I don't regret them. It's just the ones that I'm like, this has a stupid meaning or like, I don't like this one because it was color. It's on the outside of my wrist, but I still, even though my little bow tattoo is totally messed up, the girl overcharged me. She messed up on it. I still really like it because it makes my hands different from everyone else's, you know? I don't know. I've always been like one of those people that's just been different than everyone else. Like in college, I took an art class and I remember I got like hated on, like no joke hated on because my art was different from everyone else's, which is like, isn't that the point of art class? And I've always been weird. And I remember like being in high school and middle school and I used to hate it. I was like, why am I different than everyone else? I'm gonna blend in. And then the older I got, I was like, what am I doing? Like, why am I trying to please all these people? Like, I don't care how nice you are. You're never going to please everyone. You know, I try to live my life with no regrets as, you know, being a person. I'm like, when I'm on my deathbed, I want to know that I lived a good life. <laughs> by the way, the foundation I just used, you guys, is Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez, if you guys are curious. Which, I actually have a Selena Gomez tattoo. <laughs> it's the same one she has. Do I still listen to Selena Gomez every now and then? Do I still love her as much as I did? No. Do I regret the tattoo? No. <laughs> you know, getting a tattoo, my biggest advice for you is think on it. Think on it. Think on it. Think on it. 
just really think on your tattoo. I'm not saying every tattoo has to have a meaning. I'm like not one of those people. Like if you like it, get it. And they get addicting. Like that's the thing. Like once you get one, it's hard to stop. <laughs> okay, so I just put on some loose powder. So now I'm gonna put on, this is my favorite um, pressed powder and it's by Maybelline. It's a super stay full coverage. I love it. I just always use a loose powder just because it's summertime. And if I start sweating, which I don't ever sweat bad, but it's just like, I want to make sure that my makeup stays. I decided to go ahead and do my concealer, my eyeliner. But if you're curious what eyeliner I use, I use the Maybelline Stiletto. I freaking love this eyeliner. And then the concealer I use is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I have the worst bags as you guys just saw. And this stuff is amazing. It covers anything, everything. And it's like, what? seven dollars five dollars like it's insane i'm gonna let this liner dry before i apply the star wars um glitter kind of gold liner to like dress the look up a little bit but i thought it would come back on here and just finish talking but i was like this is gonna take way too long like this is gonna be the whole video just me talking about tattoos <laughs> so i'm gonna use the rimmel maxi blush i have had this forever you guys like and i freaking love it it's amazing. I am so excited, you guys, for Halloween to be coming up. Are you guys excited? Are you guys ready? I am ready to do this Halloween clean out video with you guys. Um, just because, like, I'm one of those people that I don't hoard stuff. I, I guess because, like, growing up, my mom was always like, all right, you guys, time to clean out your closets. <laughs> I, like, really get satisfaction out of cleaning out a good closet. It's like... I just don't like hanging on to stuff. Like even just getting the boxes of Halloween stuff down, I was like, I can already see some things in here that like I just need to get rid of. So I don't know if I'm gonna sell it. I don't know if it's gonna go to Goodwill. It just kind of depends on what it is. Like if I paid a lot of money for it, I might, um, you know, I might sell it on my Poshmark. I do have a Poshmark currently of all my clothing items and it's just kind of nice because like some of the stuff I'm like, I kind of paid like money for this and I mean you pay money for everything, but like <laughs> some of the things I'm like, I pay a little more money for this and I would like to kind of get something back out of it. Um, and plus I just also like, like to see it go to someone who really wants it instead of it just going to Goodwill sometimes. What highlighter? You know what you guys, we're going to use the Star Wars palette and then we're going to use rebel princess i do this all the time you can't really see it but it is more metallic-y i do this all the freaking time with um like highlighters like i i actually i actually don't think i really ever use a highlighter <laughs> um i think i always just use like eyeshadows sorry you guys um, my mirror is in the way i do love color pops highlighters though i will say i use the rudolph one a lot um, I know they don't have it anymore. That one, the Corella DeVille one, which they also don't have anymore. See, I never really order from ColourPop unless it's like a collection. Um, I feel like they've improved on their makeup since I last got something from them. Because the last things I got were the Baby Yoda collection. I just remember like some of the shadows. I'm like, these are really hard to like kind of get on my eyes. But see, like, look at that. That just looks like a normal highlighter. That doesn't even look like a freaking <laughs> eyeshadow. I think now I'm going to finish my makeup and then the next time you guys will see me, we will be in the filming room going through all the Halloween stuff. So makeup is done. Um, this room is so echoey and I don't know why, but it is. <laughs> this is all the piles that we're going through and there's Miss Beasley. Beasley! Beasley! It looks like... I don't know, I could have sworn there was like more stuff, but then again, I do keep a lot of Halloween decor around the house. So this is all the stuff that was kind of like in storage and I'm gonna go through it. Just kind of want to make room for more Halloween decor and not have to feel guilty. Like, girl, you have so much already. Like, why are you getting more? So I got a lot of stuff last year and we're gonna go ahead and just start to go through it. Since there's only three boxes, um, 
which can I say, I, I don't know, are you one of those people that like with your decorations, you'll like neatly pack stuff up and neatly put it back in the boxes? Or are you like me and you're just like throwing things in the box? So I don't really know what's in what. Um, I did not include inflatables in this or anything like that. I just included stuff that I found in the garage. So since there's not as many boxes as I thought, I might be able to go through each and every little thing. We're just gonna have fun with this, right? It's a Halloween clean out video. So we're just gonna have fun with it. Box number one. I think, did I get this last year? Is this not the cutest freaking face you have ever seen on a pumpkin? Um, I freaking love this. Definitely gonna keep it. Another itty bitty pumpkin that is kind of, I don't know, I might get rid of this one. It's starting to look really dingy, but I got it. There's like a ton of, oh, you know what this is? This is uh, the fake cobweb stuff. I was like, what is going on? I don't know, it is kind of starting to look a little dingy, so this might be a Goodwill one. Got this from Magic at Your Door. I know I have talked about them in, like, or on my channel before. Um, I'm not subscribed anymore, but is this not the cutest thing ever? So this is definitely a keeper for me just because I love him and his little jack-o'-lantern and his candy and he's just so freaking adorable. And I love having like desk pieces or um, like table pieces. I don't know, that's just kind of like my favorite decorations. I also like a lot of wall pieces too. I got this at Big Lots like forever ago. Um, beware, enter if you dare with like the little I'm gonna call it a raven. I don't really think it's a crow. I think it's more of a raven, but do I want this? Do I not? This is a maybe. This is a maybe. I don't really know how I feel about this. I feel like it's that decoration I just put up because I have it <laughs> and I'm like, where else is this gonna go? So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm actually gonna keep, we're gonna, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I know I'm definitely not getting rid of these, but I just want to show you guys these, the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil skeletons I got from at home, like, I wanna say like two years ago. Freaking love them. They look so like dingy. They actually look a little bit brighter on camera because of the ring light, but in person they're darker and much more like decayed looking as we're on camera. They look a little bit brighter, but I freaking love these and I put these on my mantle every year <laughs> here is something that i like it but i don't actually use it if that makes sense and it's this cool little candle that i never even put batteries in you i don't even think you can see it's flickering because of the ring light like let me turn this ring light even then it's not super bright so i think this might be a get rid of i've had it for several years and while it's really cute I just personally, it's that decoration that I don't really put up because I don't use it. I, I, uh, I'm so attached to my Halloween stuff. I'm just like, no, but I can't give you away. But I'm like, girl, you have to because you know you're going to buy stuff this year and you know you're going to buy new Christmas stuff too. So you're going to have to get rid of some decorations. So this is going to be another giveaway, I think. Next two items, I got this at at home last year and I freaking love this little ghosty guy. He is so cute. Um, he's just freaking adorable and I love him. So he's, we're gonna keep him. We're also gonna keep this pumpkin. It's very rare. I don't know, maybe it's more common now, but when I got this, it was pretty rare to find a white pumpkin and white pumpkins are my favorite. So anytime I saw a white pumpkin decoration that I liked, I would pick it up. Where did I, I wanna say I got this maybe at Walgreens or Big Lots, but I really like this and I love the design. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's very like bedazzled. So definitely going to keep this. I Now I'm finding that my keep pile is not um, as big as I thought. I also found a thank you note from Halloween Happy in here, so. So this guy, we have to keep him. Like, I feel like I should get rid of him because I think you can only go up to a certain amount of days. Like, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep him just because it's fun. But I um, got him from Michael's forever ago. It was $14.99. I feel like now he would probably be so much more. Um, I cannot get this to like, go in there properly. There we go. It's going to be backwards, but whatever. Ah, it says 31 
or it might say 13. You know what, it's, that's Halloween magic, it says 31. I think we're gonna go ahead and keep this guy. Um, just cause I've had him a while and I do like the, like I know you can like look on Google and see how many days left till Halloween, but I really just also like this kind of aspect of it. So I am going to keep him for a little while longer. And then if I decide a few years I wanna get rid of him, I will, but I think I'm gonna keep him. So now we are on to the bigger box of things. And can I say my giveaway pile has two items. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize these a little better and um, like wrap everything up a little more in boxes and try to take better care of everything. Next thing I have, I've been debatable about this. I like the sign, it's really cute which parking five cents with a little broom. I like it, don't get me wrong. Part of me also feels like I bought this. Sorry, I was like totally off camera. Part of me feels like I bought this just to buy it. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know, like part of me is like, maybe you should just keep it and then see if you use it around Halloween and then if you don't, you can get rid of it. But I think I might keep this one. I just, I'm so weird about giving away stuff, you guys. Like, I'm like, what if I use it this next Halloween? Like, what am I going to do? So, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it. These ears, definitely keeping. These are the Loungefly Nightmare for Christmas ears. You know what? We're going to wear these the rest of the video just to spice it up a little bit, you know? But, yeah, I definitely want to wear these, especially because we're going to Disney in September. This guy... Remember you guys, I got him from Goodwill. Part of me knows I only got him because he was a Halloween item, but I think I'm gonna keep him because he would look really cute on my tape. You know, I want a good, I even told you guys, I want a good Halloween setting. And I think he would do the job and I have a black candle to go in him. So I think we're gonna keep him. This video is not going well, you guys. <laughs> So you guys, I already kind of looked through this box and I know I'm not going to get rid of anything, <laughs> but I want to show you guys Mr. Dave the Cat. that I got him so long ago at Michael's uh, and I think back then he was like $5. I'm like, nowadays he'd probably be like 20. Just kidding. Probably like 15 maybe, but I already looked in this box. It's kind of more like outdoor decor and we don't really have a ton of outdoor Halloween decor yet. So I think I am going to hang on to everything. We also have our Halloween wreath in here, which I can show you guys. Just kind of looks like that. I got it from Target last year. So I already know a lot of stuff in this box. I, um, here. I want to hang on to just because we don't have a lot of outdoor stuff. And then I also found these plaid pumpkins, which I got on clearance last year that are from like Aldi. Like I told you guys, you got to look high and low grocery stores everywhere. But um, I really like this. I think I'm going to keep it. And I also like how it has that kind of like fall aspect to it. So we're now down you guys to one more box and I have two items I am getting rid of. We have Frank and Weenie, Sparky, you guys. This movie makes me cry like a baby each and every freaking time. And Beasley reminds me so much of Sparky, just like the body. <sighs> guys, I can't, I can't watch this movie and not cry. Like I know I'm almost 27 years old. <laughs> it is so sad. It is the saddest movie ever I'm definitely not getting rid of sparky and then like some of these things you guys are probably like girl you have too much but some of these things like i have halloween stuff at work you guys hanging up i have halloween stuff in our bedroom that you saw hanging up i'm sure i have other halloween stuff i think like beneath the sink in the bathroom so it's kind of spread out like this is again just all the stuff in storage because I know I'm gonna have someone comment and be like I thought you liked Halloween why don't you have more stuff or I have more stuff than you if you have more stuff than me great I haven't been I've only been living on my own you guys for like two years so I really never went and bought a ton of Halloween stuff because I never had a house to decorate I would decorate you know I cannot take myself seriously in these I would always just decorate my room at my parents house and that was about it. Um, 
And so I would never get a ton of stuff because it was just always like, well, I have so much space I can only decorate. Some of this stuff is from last year, but like this cute little pumpkin. Again, what I said about the white pumpkins, I love him too. So kind of like going through everything again, it's just hard to know because like a lot of my Halloween stuff I already have hanging up. And honestly, I look at it so much that I kind of forget it's Halloween stuff and Halloween decorations. Some of the stuff I will take to work and you know, I know we're gonna get more stuff this year though. One thing you guys I did actually find are these pumpkins, which I tried. <laughs> I got these at a garage sale, you guys, and I tried to draw on them jack-o'-lanterns and it just didn't really work out. I think I need more like paint. I'm just not into fall decorations. I'm more Halloween. Like, but part of me thinks when I have kids, like here's how I decorate, you guys. I decorate for Halloween in like July or really all year round. And then <laughs> when Christmas hits, my husband loves the Christmas tree and loves you know, all those decorations. So we'll decorate for Christmas like November 7th. Remember, my lucky number is seven. I've said that in a previous video, I think. So I always decorate for Christmas like November 7th. So I'm like, okay, but when I have kids, am I gonna have to start decorating for Thanksgiving? And if I'm gonna have to start decorating for Thanksgiving, does that mean I need to keep these pumpkins? <laughs> this, you guys, is where my mind goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this you guys because I don't need to be hanging on to all this Halloween stuff. These pumpkins, like I said, they're cute, but I don't know. Like literally you guys, I found three items. I am so disappointed in myself. My Halloween stuff is so hard for me to get rid of because it is something that makes me so happy and it's something that like I feel so attached to and I feel like it's easier like once it gets closer and I really do start putting up everything um I can kind of see what I like and what I am actually gonna put up versus what I think is oh it's cute but I'm not really gonna put it up and to me that's like this item it's cute, but I'm not really gonna put it. I think like last year I just ended up taking it to work because like I didn't put it up anywhere in my house. We had a creepy cloth somewhere, you guys. Like I know there is more Halloween stuff somewhere. Like there has to be because we had a creepy cloth and we had all this other stuff. And honestly, I think it's in one of those boxes. Um, I know I kind of, I have some Halloween items that are kind of Christmas items. So I kind of was like, well, where, where do I put these? Do I put these with the Halloween stuff or do I put these with the Christmas stuff? So I think I ended up putting some of it with the Christmas stuff because if it's like Halloween ornaments, like I never put up a Halloween tree. I wanna say I did last year, but I wanna say that was like closer to Christmas. I was like, I'm just gonna do a Halloween tree this year. For now, this is the clean out progress, if you guys can see it. So, all of this is keep and oh it's too far you can't see it but and then all of these three items which is this this and this are giveaway items i'm not impressed i feel like i can get rid of more christmas stuff i don't really know why i just i guess i just don't really care about christmas is that awful to say? Like, I just feel like with Christmas, it's one of those holidays that it's so expensive. There's so much going on. There's so much to do. And if you guys didn't know, I have clinical anxiety, depression, and then I also have epilepsy, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a disorder where you have seizures. So if I get anxious, I have a seizure. So Christmas it, and I just don't get along. Like it's one of those holidays that it's just like, this is too freaking stressful and I don't like it. <laughs> Being stressed, that's why I love Halloween. I'm like, I can decorate and it's fun and I can do my own plans. And like, I can do my own plans with Christmas, but there's just so much going on. And I feel like there's so many expectations of like, oh, well, why didn't Aunt Sally come to our dinner? And then it starts a fight and then it's just, not saying that that's what happens in my family, but just like from what I hear from other people's families. And it's just, it's just stressful, you guys. I just don't like it. I, I've never really been a big Christmas fan. Ever since I was a kid, I would get sick around Christmas. 
I'm sorry if this clean out was a disappointment, but I had fun filming this video. It was a lot of fun just doing a vlog type video because we haven't really done like a vlog vlog video where it was like kind of a get ready with me and a talk and then this. Um, and I know this clean up video is different for most people. I know most people do the voiceover and then they do like the speed up, but you know what? We are not everyone, okay? We are different on this channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will do more of these types of vlogs in the future. Like I'm thinking about doing a closet clean out and then maybe like our bedroom because that is a spooky bedroom. I do have, that's where the creepy cloth is. I just now realized that it's hanging up above our bed. When you start to put up Halloween stuff, you guys, you don't even notice it anymore. You get so used to it that you're like, I have Halloween stuff up. And I'm like, oh yeah, I do. <laughs> Towards the end of June, we'll probably start doing a Halloween decor hunting video. But until then, I might do like a spooky shirt collection video. I don't know, do you guys like these clean out videos? I feel like you guys liked the bathroom one. I feel like that video was horrible. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking because if I don't, this video is going to be like three hours long. But thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below and let me know what you wanna see next or if you've cleaned out your Halloween stuff yet or if you kind of wait or if you just don't do it at all because I totally get it. <laughs> and until next time, stay spooky. Bye guys.